deployment options of your BI solution. Should you go public cloud, private cloud, on-premises, uh, hybrid? Uh, many organizations are moving full cloud, uh, public cloud, and it's working really well for them. Uh, some other organizations still have legacy systems and some other systems that you know might take a while to move to the cloud if they will ever move to the cloud. So uh, you have to see what your situation is to see um, which platform will be a better fit. Uh, when it comes to Power BI and uh, Tableau, uh, both of them provide a very good uh, public cloud offer. So if you are already in the public cloud, or that direction is certain, there's no problem, uh, then both of them are in a similar competing platform. Um, now, if you're not already 100% sure public cloud is the right option, then you have to look in more detail. Um, Tableau has um, all options, you know, public, private, on-prem, hybrid, any combination of them, uh, they cover really well uh, with a, a wide and deep range of features. Uh, if you're considering Power BI, uh, Power BI has recently released their Power BI report server. It was released back in June. And just uh, this month in uh, November, they released some several new features. Uh, so it's a fairly new framework. Uh, it sits on top of reporting services and takes advantage of a lot of the framework of reporting services, which is pretty good. Um, but because it's fairly new, there's still uh, you know, many features that uh, probably are required when you're looking at a company-wide or enterprise-wide um, uh, analytics platform. I list here some of the uh, limitations still uh, with um, the Power BI report server. Uh, now there's a, a little over two dozen data sources. Actually, most of the data sources or probably, yeah, most of the data sources very popular in the mid-market are covered, which is great. Uh, if you want to do direct connection with your data sources, uh, they cover now six, also the most popular. So likely most organizations will be fine. Uh, be sure to check your data sources and be sure if they are part of these uh, 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 supported ones already. Uh, from a, a size of reports, they support up to two gigabytes, which can cover a lot of data analysis. Most mid-size organizations should be fine with that limit. If you have a lot of data, then you have to see, once you compile the data, how large those files will be. Uh, uh, one of the things with Power BI uh, Report Server and Power BI in general is, uh, they're, you know, Microsoft is aggressively adding more features and improving it. Uh, almost every month or so, there are more things coming out, which is good. Uh, but at the same time, uh, this also causes more overhead to be installing new versions and making adjustments if, if needed or uh, doing retraining. So be sure that your organization can handle the extra bandwidth of frequent, frequent updates. Um, if you are you know, seriously considering um, Power BI for um, not non-public public, uh, public cloud, then keep in mind that at least as of mid-October, Microsoft roadmap for the Power BI report server was that you would not include some key features available in the Power BI Cloud Server. And here I list what those uh, key features that are not part of the roadmap. So if you need them, uh, you have to leave um, with the Power BI on-prem and also some of the reports or some of those things that you need those additional features in the, in the cloud. And if that works for you, great. If not, um, you know, you have to see how to work around those things. So overall, this is the assessment between the two when it comes to uh, deployment options.